So we're looking at what appears to be a normal Xbox 360 dashboard. What can you show us that's new? Everyone's sort of familiar with this interface. What? Well, again, you have here, you know, here you have Xbox Live, and you know, since we're talking about television here, let's go ahead and talk about Gravity uh, Media. So, so you have a new menu item. Yeah, look at this. It's uh, television. Right. So as as you can see, uh, Xbox Live now has television. That's outstanding. Live and recorded on demand. Chat while watching TV. So if you punch Punch television. What what do we see? Well, uh, we're, so this is a, a Microsoft TV IPTV edition on Xbox 360. So we're right now connecting to an IPTV uh, server, and we, uh, and we're actually going to get stream con uh, stream content down uh, the, the actual pipeline as opposed to over broadcast. Right. And so we're seeing 720p coming down through my existing internet pipe. Well, it would, it would be through, uh, so say it would be through service provider, they would have a, a managed network that, allowed, okay. that guarantees a, a, quality of, a set of quality of, of service to make sure that your TV still looks good. Right. And when I'm within this, okay, so this is my actual television interface, even though right. it's running as essentially sort of an application on top of my Xbox. Right. Okay. And so you're sort of shifting channels, you have your normal metadata that happens there. What does the TV menu look like when I hit the guide button on my... Well, so if you hit, so you hit the guide button, you're going to get, uh, you're you're going to get the uh, the IPTV edition guide. If you notice, and then one of the cool things about you know, the fact that it is one of we did do IPTV over a lot of other providers mm -hmm. that you know, we have been able to do is that we alpha the uh, sure uh, the, the the text the and the graphics over over the content. So it looks somewhat reminiscent of my old Ultimate TV box, actually. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Just slightly. Oh, so um, as you can see here, we can go in the future um, to see what the what the listings are. All the same controls. Exactly, and you know, I can set up recordings from here either by pressing the record button directly, or if I go over here, I could select the show. And now, in this case, is record the series. Is the Xbox doing the DVR functionality for you? Am I, is this content going to get written to the drive that's connected to my 360? Yes. Okay. And so, what? Is there is there some crossover between the content that I record through IPTV? Is it visible outside of this application? So, for example, there's there's the Xbox Live Marketplace movie and video download service. Do I view the content that I record from my television in the same way? Uh, it's, it's it's a separate experience. Okay. This, this is specific to the, the IPT, the Xbox 360. All right. TV so I, I go to recorded TV. Right. So again, it just it, it behaves just like you'd expect to see another set top box or like. Our, so when I launch this application, I sort of left all Xbox functionality behind. Right. Okay. So you're now in the in the IPTV space. So you haven't left all of Xbox functionality. Uh, behind. So yeah. what's still hiding? What's still there? Well, you can still see we're, we are running on an Xbox. Okay, so I have my overall system control. Right, and you know I could you know and and here's actually where I can actually get somebody to uh, send me an invite. Okay. Um, so again, I just have to show you. Know, you so here so we go. You have an Xbox chat invitation while right. I'm watching television. So yeah, I can pause live television because yeah, I I don't want to miss it. And then, right. And then I can bring up again. We're on an Xbox here, so have the standard chat interface. Everything that an Xbox can do. All right. And we can talk to Adam. And go back to watching live TV. So the idea is this: is that, uh, hey Adam, how you doing? So well, pretty good. Just watching a, a Italian. Let's see, Giada's is Italian adventure. Uh, Looks like we're, she's talking about various antipostes, etc. But I, again, one of the nice things about uh, about you watch this a lot. Oh, I'm a network junkie. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and as well as other things, I've seen Hootie the Blowfish many, many times now. Uh, so anyway, uh, we we can do, enable uh, kind of a nice television experience. So instead of doing uh, instead of just bringing uh, talking over games, etc. Here right. we're actually bringing community to television. So sure. one of the great things about Xbox Live that actually brings community to the sense to, to the gaming part. Right, and that's something that people do rapidly anyway, right? Right. You sit with your laptop on the couch over I am while you all watch the show. Right. Again, so imagine you know, there's a a big event going on TV that everybody wants to watch. Right. And you want to watch with your your brother who's in college, or you want to and watch with you know, some crazy uncle that you might have right. across across the 
cross the, the city or something like that, and they can't they can't get to you. Right. And the chat provides a, a good opportunity. Thanks, Adam. So, so talk more about um, what what you just mentioned, which was the traditional television because the tuner is a hardware device. I'm right. limited to. You know, sort of, it takes too long to get from one channel to another, and I can't see right. multiple types of content at once. How is controlling my television experience purely through software? How does that change? Well, changes will allows you to uh, tune things a lot faster, so we can s just speed right through all of this content. Right, and it, and it pops up instantly. Right. So yeah. because I'm seeing because the, the because you can handle more than one at once, can I get sort of richer experience? Right. So you can, and of course, one of the things to look at, one, one example of the richer experience is if I wanted to continue watching what I really have, and I want to see what else is going on. So right. say if I'm watching you know, two, two games at one time, I can kind of check to see, like, well, is that thing on? Or right. if I'm doing, uh, like, a, a commercials on one channel, I can yeah, keep that one in a commercial and surf around for the other ones. Now, I know that my sort of, my, my ancient dogged television could give me picture in picture what well, while we might not see it here in this demo, what what can you do with software that goes beyond that, beyond just normal one picture in picture instance? Well, you can do uh, just imagine an application that does a multiple pictures in pictures. So, say if I'm wanting to watch a number of channels all at once. So uh, theoretically, you could do four at once, or you could do yeah, four or six. Yeah, just okay. Looking looking at the uh, at the actual content. So again, I can look at those small little uh, little video images. And, Watch all of it once, and right. then switch switch between back and forth. So, right. like, hey, that's kind of nice during various tournament seasons and various sure. sporting events. If sure. I have a bunch of games going on at once, right. you know, hey, you know, March, uh, I think that's a good time for that. Exactly. Uh, but also, uh, it, it allows me to uh, so it allows content providers to you know, they have multiple channel uh, ch uh, channel lineups. So mm -hmm. again, you could have all these channels once, and they could brand that uh, with you know, whatever they wanted to. So if it's like you know, uh, say. Uh, HBO or uh, or Showtime want to do a horror film set at uh, uh, Bentley, so they can right. actually set the, pick up all the horror films going on at once. That would be great. Say Halloween thing. So. Sure, sure. Um, so the thing I've become most attached to in my TV watching is the ability to record my television onto a digital device. Mm -hmm. Now that I watch my television using my Xbox 360, how does that? Am I, am I going to still retain that same ability? Yeah, of course. The, the goal is to uh, be able to have full DVR experiences and also be a gaming console. Again, the Xbox 360 is a gaming console. Right. But again, with TV, you know, the, the goal is to make sure that we, ha we have the best of both worlds and have the ultimate experience. Both of those things happen. We've seen a lot. We've seen how convenient and fabulous a world it will be when... Uh, when you experience your television when you're using your Xbox 360, how is that going to come to pass for you know for the average consumer, and when? So, from the web, let's we're we're, we're talking about seeing this uh, out there on in Holiday on Seven. Okay. So we are working with uh, some, some uh, right, for, with a number of uh, service providers out there. Right. Um, and uh, right now they're working on being able to. Uh, Provide deploy their networks. Deploy, and deploy their networks, and if they're in your area, then you can you'll be able to you know, get a, get an Xbox 360 with IPTV, right? And hook it up to that network. And we'll be able to come back and talk to you as we get closer to that date. Oh, more. definitely! I can't wait. This again, this is just a glimpse of what we're what we're working on right now, and where we're headed. Right. Outstanding. Thanks a lot. Yeah. And just tell us, just in closing, what's your name and what do you do here at Microsoft? So uh, I'm Jason White. I'm a group worker manager with Microsoft DB Technology Team. Great. Thanks. Thanks.